All right, so tell me a little bit about the new series. Right, so we're launching a new show called LG15 The Resistance, and it's going to be featuring uh, Jonas, played by Jackson Davis, and Sarah, played by Alexander Dreyfus. So those are two of the characters from Lonely Girl 15 um, that we'll be continuing on. But it's a totally new storyline. There'll be two other lead characters that are new, a bunch of other um, characters as well. So we're trying to open it up to a broader audience, but also appeal to the people that love, the, uh, love Lonely Girl 15 and Kate Modern. We are the resistance. We will not be stopped. So I know that um, some of the fans were kind of left hanging by the finale of Lonely Girl 15 and they felt like some of the questions weren't quite answered. Is this series going to answer those questions for them? Nice. You follow the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, definitely. It, it's difficult. It's funny. We talk a bit about the narrative structure of these shows. and. Um, the reality is that there, there really have been a few different story arcs for Lonely Girl 15, so we, weren't, we didn't really answer a lot of the global mysteries of the show or the universe, but, I mean, if, if there wasn't some of that remaining, then there wouldn't be anything left to tell. Hi, I'm Edward Salinas. So I know that the interactive aspect of Lonely Girl 15 really helped the series take off. How will this series continue that interactivity or expand upon it? Uh, yeah, we're doing a ton with interactivity. Um, sort of, so one of the things that we've done on both Lonely Girl and Kate Modern is we've done these live events. So we're going to be doing uh, more of those as well. Uh, we're actually going to be filming not just in Los Angeles, but um, also some other cities. Can't reveal really? where right now, but um, in other parts of the country. That's great. Do you think breaking down the wall between the, the creators and the viewers is a model that future web series will adopt? Do you think that's really important for a web series? Uh, we, we definitely think that breaking down the fourth wall is important. Um, you know, we found really early on with Lonely Girl that uh, it was that interactivity between the audience and the characters that made the show special and that really made it an internet show. Um, and it's something that we did on Cape Modern as well. And we found that it really, it really garners a lot of passion at, from the community. Um, and because it's the internet, if you don't have that interactivity, if you don't really have that dialogue between um, the audience and the show, then it really is more of a traditional broadcast model as opposed to what the web really is, which is an ongoing conversation. Are you um, targeting specific video sites or are you planning to just distribute it as widely as possible? What's the the concept behind that? Um, yeah, so we have a lot of great distribution partnerships. Um, we are working, you know, in some cases with people that we've worked before, in other cases some of these are new partners. So uh, we're working with YouTube, um, MySpace, um, VO, Hulu, and iMeme. I mean, for us, you know, when we did Lonely Girl, um, we were able to drive a lot of the traffic from the show to LG15.com, and we found that um, from a community standpoint, it was really the best place for people to watch the show because a very tight community of fans formed. Everybody on LG15.com likes the show. Um, even when they grumble, you know, they want to watch it. And as a result, it's like having your own living room where you've invited all your friends over to watch, you know, Buffy or something like that. And so uh, it, you end up forming this really tight community. You meet people that are similar to you. We actually had a couple fans that met on our website and got married. Um, so <laughs> people, form, <laughs> people form really close relationships. Um, and we found that you just can't do that when you're on a broader social network like a YouTube or a MySpace or a Bebo. Um, so from that standpoint, it was appealing to be able to enhance the community features on the site. Um, and then additionally, um, from a creative standpoint, we can control the interactivity. So we can do things like have live video chats, like have um, text chat sessions, have polls, etc. that may or may not be available to us on third party sites. Can you give me any like sneak details about what the first um, episode will be about? Sure, um, I mean I can say that uh, it's, it's, the show is really about uh, this new resistance organization coming together uh, to ultimately fight back against the order. Um, there's going to be some twists along the way, some new surprises. Um, there may even be some new threats above and beyond the order. Our numbers are growing strong. Our reach gradually expanding. Our grasp tightening. We are everywhere. We are waiting.